Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the playing of the national anthem. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I am Chief Warrant Officer to James Landrum, the officer in charge of the U.S. Army in Blues. How about another hand for this outstanding band? <laughs> On behalf of Major General Omar Jones, the Commanding General of the Military District of Washington, and Colonel Andrew Esch, the leader and commander of the United States Army Band, thank you so much for joining us today as we celebrate National Hispanic Heritage Month. From September 15th to October 15th, the nation and the Army commemorate and celebrate the contributions of Hispanic Americans to the nation, to our society, and our culture. From the 20,000 Hispanic soldiers who fought on both sides in the Civil War, to the 40 Hispanic American soldiers who were in the Medal of Honor in the last century, to the incredible soldier musicians of Hispanic heritage you see on stage before you today, these amazing men and women are woven indelibly into the beautiful fabric of our nation and our Army, and we are stronger for them. We are honored tonight to celebrate this heritage with our guest artist, the gifted and prolific Cesar Orozco. His imaginative blend of jazz, Cuban, and Venezuelan musical styles has earned him a reputation as one of the most talented and creative artists and educators in his field. Tonight's entire program was composed and arranged by Cesar. Also performing today with the band are the incredible Fran Vielma on percussion and Pablo Bencid on drums. Thanks again for coming, and let's hear it one more time for Cesar Orozco and the U.S. Army Blues.
Hello. Um, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm very, very, very happy to be here uh, this afternoon uh, with this amazing band. I was actually thinking I'm not speaking until next piece, but I forgot that I have to introduce also our amazing drummer, Pablo Benzi. Um, I'm very happy to uh, play with this amazing band, with all these uh, outstanding musicians. Um, this music we are playing um, today is mostly, uh, it's all my music, my own music. Some, uh, also uh, some uh, arrangement of uh, folk music from Venezuela um, and Cuba. But mostly it's original music and um, I, I have to tell, tell you this, it's, uh, it's not very easy. <laughs> to play, but these guys have been doing an amazing job, and I, I'm pretty sure you are going to enjoy uh, this performance tonight. They are amazing. And okay, let's continue now with uh, another of my original. Uh, it's called Horosco. It's a Joropo. Joropo is music from the Venezuelan and Colombian plains. Um, this is an original that is included in one of my albums, the third one, No Limits for Tumbao. It's all the way in the old. Uh, Online platforms, um, uh, so you can you can go there and um, find me on the platforms. All, all my my albums are there. Uh, Horosco, as I said, um, we are going to play right now. Thank you.
Thank you. Um, that was a, a piece uh, named La Triste Mirada, the sad uh, view. Oh, uh, sad uh, look. Sorry, the sad look. And yeah, another of my original compositions also. Um, now, this piece that we're going to play right now is, uh, I wanted to remark that this was what, um, my first uh, ever arrangement for big band. I did it like 17 years ago. Um, I rearranged it recently a little, like changed a couple of things, but basically it's the same arrangement that I did uh, uh, back in Valencia, Venezuela. I used to live in Venezuela. I'm Cuban, but I used to live in Venezuela. Uh, I, I, I spent 14 years there. Um, while there, I, I did a lot of uh, music um, in Venezuela, and this arrangement was my first one for big man. It's, uh, it's called Imprevisto, like it's kind of unexpected. It's the translation for, for, the, for, the, for the title. And um, I hope you enjoy. It's a very Latin jazz style uh, piece. Um, it starts with a funk and then it goes to Latin, like Afro Cuban uh, Latin jazz. I hope you enjoy this. It features um, our percussionists, both of them, uh, Francisco Vielma and Pablo Benci, and also uh, our tenor saxophone, um, as, uh, Xavier from Cuba, by the way, <laughs> and, and the trombone player, right? Um, Victor. Victor, okay, so I hope you enjoy this.
Thank you. Okay, we are going to continue with a couple of pieces, um, uh, but uh, as a quartet. Um, then the, the band will join us uh, a, little, a, a few minutes later.
Thank you. That was um, Jobo. Jobo is a nickname for my younger daughter, Leah. Um, and now we're going to play a piece that is actually an arrangement of two traditional pieces, one from Cuba, one from Venezuela. The one from Cuba is El Manicero, which is a classic um, from Cuba. Um, and the other is from Venezuela. It's called El Frutero, the fruit uh, vendor. Uh, it sounds a little weird, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the fruit vendor and the El Manicero, the peanut vendor, <laughs> they uh, come together in this uh, version. Uh, I hope you like it.
Give it up for Regan on bass. I want to, um, um, I don't know their last names, but I know many of their first names. I, I need to say thank you to Eric, the, the drummer, the official drummer of the U.S. Army Band that plays the first, the first tune with us. Is, is he around? I guess. Um, he, he did an amazing job, as all of them, they are amazing, a great job. Now we are going to do another piece of mine, it's uh, called Café Tabaco y Azúcar. Um, but this time it's not a whole big band is just these four amazing horn players here. Uh, this is the actually the original arrangement that I did for the song for the album was like this with four horns and actually it's the first time I can play it alive like that because I never use a four horns uh, with my quintet. It's just one horn so it's very exciting for me and actually it's the first time I need to tell you I play all my music with a big band. So yeah. Sometimes I actually I I'm, I'm just listening to them and the and the music because I just listen to that on the, my computer and I never I never heard this alive like today. I'm, sometimes I get distracted listening to them. Oh, okay, it's my turn. It's my turn. So yes, uh, it's it's been happening throughout the whole concert. I hope you you didn't realize, but <laughs> okay, café tabaco y azúcar.
Thank you. I want to invite the band again back, the whole band, to play this super, super fun tune that we are going to play now. Is, uh, is, is, there is, is there anyone by ch any chance from Dominican Republic here? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, Puerto Rico? Oh, okay. Well, this is not from Puerto Rico, but it's close. It's from, it's a merengue. It's a Dominican Republic merengue. Uh, that I wrote also a long time ago um, that I also arranged for, for Big Band. It originally, it was not for Big Band, but I arranged it for Big Band, too. And it's very interesting because today we will have our guitar player, Mike, Mike, Michael, right? Mike. Mike. <laughs> so he will be actually, besides playing amazingly uh, <clears throat> the guitar, he was, he will be also playing the guira. Because he, he happens to like uh, his wife is from Dominican Republic, so um, so he's gonna play also the 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 guira, which is one of the most amazing instruments, percussion instrument, and it's uh, for actually it's an instrument for playing the merengue, the, the Dominican Republic merengue. So I hope you enjoy this piece, uh, Camara Tiao.
<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thanks again so much for joining us this afternoon and for welcoming our special guest artists for this great day. And now the Army has a long-standing tradition of rewarding the soldiers within its ranks with commemorative coins of excellence when they exceed the standard and perform incredibly well. And I have to say, our guest artists today have, have done that in spades. And uh, so I want to take this opportunity to thank them as special guests and honorary members of the Army Blues on behalf of the commander of the Army Band with some special certificates of appreciation and U.S. Army Band coins of excellence. Stay there, I'll come to you. Thanks again for coming out. Have a great day. OK, uh, before saying goodbye, I need to please everyone to give it up to this amazing band, the US Army Blues. It's such a, a, an honor for, for us uh, to be here and, and play with you guys um, um, in, in this uh, very uh, amazing hall. And really, uh, we really feel very honored. Um, um, this is going to be a very uh, super unforgettable day for us. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Also, uh, is my family here? Okay, um, yes, I, I, it happens that my, my, my mother, brother, sister, and, and sister-in-law, they live, they live all here in, in, in Maryland, but of course, the area. But are they, are they all there? <laughs> well, you see one hand. Okay, so okay, um, so now we are going to finish uh, the night with um, uh, "Son con Pajarillo," which is a piece that makes it, uh, mixes mixes uh, "Son Cubano," a song from Cuba, and "Joropo Pajarillo" is a kind of joropo from Venezuela. Uh, is is uh, uh, actually the the title of the song is also the, the title of my first album. Son Con Pajarillo, which is also online, and all their digital platforms. Uh, thanks one more time, you guys, for, for playing my music. I know it's, it's not very, very easy to play. <laughs> and thank you all for coming tonight, uh, this afternoon, actually. Uh, I hope you, you enjoy the, this last piece and the whole concert. Thank you so much. Before actually playing, I need to say, I need to uh, thank to uh, one person very specially from the band who actually made this happen because it was my, my connection with this amazing musician, Mr. Antonio Horta. Thank you, Antonio, for, for making, making this happen, for all the, the, the connections and, and for, for the music, for your great job uh, conducting the band uh, throughout all these days. Thank you so much. Okay, see you later.
Thank you.